Every year in July, it seems, at least one boat breaks this morning. And the Traverse City Fire Department comes to the rescue. As the fire department begins to move in, one of the things that the coxswain has to keep in mind is where their motor is and where that anchor line is. You sure don't want the motor to get tangled up in that anchor line. It becomes a double rescue at that point. The other thing that they're, they're paying attention to is what the wind and the waves are doing. And the cox has got to keep an eye on his guy to make sure that nothing happens to him while maneuvering the boat. see here is the guy in the front of the boat using a boat to try to snag the anchor line. He'll then try to reel that in and attach his own line to that and hook that to the cleats on the back of their boat and pull that boat to safety. You'll see it, they're starting to back their, their boat up as they're pulling on that line. One of the reasons is you're putting attention on that anchor line. You're not exactly sure where the anchor's located. You don't want to get your motor caught in the uh, line. Once again, that would be a bad situation for all parties. There's constant communication between the two on the boat, ensuring that each other knows what's about to happen and any possible hazards that they're seeing. Great job by the Trevor Sea Fire Department. needing to be rescued, you'll see that they'll start to secure that line and pull the boat to safety. Once again, another great job by Trevor City's Bravest. I do want to take a moment not only to, to thank Traverse City Fire Department for what they did, but all of the first responders involved in keeping us safe in July and throughout the year.